I would like to welcome Dr. Shiva Gau. Uh, Shiva has scored uh, rank uh, ninth in uh, AML. So, congrats, Dr. Shiva. So, very happy to see you. Good evening, sir. Yeah, good evening, good evening, Dr. Shiva. Yeah, I'm really uh, happy and uh, elated to see you. So, just a brief introduction. Who Dr. Shiva is? Where are you from? Where did you do UG and PG? And what is your course uh, up till you uh, plan to take up urology? Please share your thoughts, Dr. Shiva. Uh, yes, sir. So, myself, Dr. Shiva, and uh, from Rajasthan, Sri Ganganagar, Rajasthan. And I did my MBBS from uh, Dr. SN Medical College, Jodhpur. After that, I did my DNB from DDU Hospital, Delhi. Okay. And uh, after that, uh, I completed it in uh, September 2020. And after that, I uh, started preparing for urology okay. and uh, I got uh, uh, rank 54 in the last uh, 2021 NEET. Uh, after that, I had joined MCH Urology in SMS okay. Hospital. So before that, I, I had joined, uh, I opted for Gangaram in the first counseling. But because I had done DNB earlier and uh, it, this was again DNB, uh, so I left it. And after joining SMS, I... Uh, thought that it was a very bad decision <laughs> okay. to leave Ganga, to leave Gangara. Okay, let's and... let's keep that keep it out of track record, sir. <laughs> yeah. But this is again one more inspiring. You got a very good rank, fifty one and eight, which is not something simple. And you left your seat, so there is all the more added pressure on you as well, right? Yes, sir. It it was a lot a lot of pressure from yeah, family, yeah. from ev yeah. to everyone whom I was referring that uh, yeah I am thinking of leaving this seat or I am I have left this seat. They were like a pagal like yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so when I when I when I spoke to here Dr. Ravi's story, I felt very hot. <laughs> I felt it was a very pressure cooker situation. Yours was even worse, I think, because I think he switched from neurosurgery to urology. He has some reason to justify himself, <laughs> whereas for you, it is even more tough. <laughs> it was difficult, but uh, I was like sure that if I uh, work towards it, I can get into the INIs. One question yes. I would like to ask uh, all of you. So I think by 2020, you had finished. By the time this uh, old knee pattern has gone, right? It was yes. only on general surgery. What yes. made you to think about preparing for INISS? Because that's what many students now ask the question. Sir, they have got very little pool of seats. And uh, is it really worth to prepare and spend so much time on any special, not just urology for that matter, whether we have to read whole of Campbell, whether we have to read whole of Blue Gut and uh, tactile code for uh, gastro surgery. Is it really worth for it? So, what is your piece of advice to those students? So, uh, I will say that sir, it is worth it because uh, first thing, the pattern more or less remains same in the INI exam. Yeah. The neat pattern, the pattern remains same uh, in INIs. Uh, even if the number of seats are less in uh, INI, the number of candidates who appear for INIs are much less, I guess, than for, uh, yeah, than for the that, is, that is one point which many don't uh, ponder because now when you see the qualified list itself there are very few who are qualified yes, sir. so that means there are only few number of students who are actually preparing for it now yes, the sir. pattern is different but if you really put in decent effort you can definitely get into INA much better than what it was previously because previously the neat pattern was also same so there was a large pool of students who was appearing for the exams the competition was even more difficult I don't yes. say the paper is easy the paper is always tough but the pool of students who is preparing for INIS has shrunken a lot. So yes, if sir. you put in a good effort, you can put in a persistent, consistent effort. There's a very high likely chance of getting through it. So that is one piece of advice which I would like to give to all the students, especially if you are fixed upon your specialty. And always remember, any seat in INI institutes is far, far better than any seat which you take from your need test. I think Dr. Shiva Gaur is a living example for it, right? So I'm not this taking credit of any other institute, but this is a general book because the exposure you get, you both hands on all those exposure you get, your uh, horizons of subspecialization, a lot of things is much, much far ahead in this institute of national importance, INI. So that's yes. the reason when I, when any of my students ask whether to choose between an INI uh, institutes or some good institutes and ETSS, I would always ask them to prepare an INI SS institutes because, because of these varied exposure, that's it. So by the end of your residency, you will feel you are doing much better and ahead of other students. So that's what I would feel like. Okay. Okay, Shiva. Then you decided upon, you got a good rank. You've left there, left off. Uh, then 
what are your preparations and uh, how do you get to know about doc tutorials so yes, uh, did any of your friends refer to refer to that or uh, what were your plan on so what was your strategy for it please let us know about uh, it yes uh, the first time i joined doc tutorials was the last year when the pattern changed i had joined uh, then joined the general surgery classes and uh, after that uh, this year uh, after the neat exam uh, f- after leaving sms uh, i was like i have to prepare for neat also because uh, you uh, are never sure about the like true, uh, true. competitive exams uh, and i and i is another level so it was very difficult so uh, i had to prepare for neat ss also After, but after the neat ss exam i contacted doctor tutorial team and uh, i told them that i have been uh, selected in uh, neat ss my i uh, mentioned my rank and uh, uh, they offered complimentary subscription to me <laughs> this time so it was very kind of that uh, it her uh, the uh, her name was uh, miss aruna i okay. uh, from the doctor tutorial team so mm-hmm. initially i had asked her about the that question bank because i i had solved the question bank last year also it the question bank uro, urology question bank to be specific was very helpful okay yes sir so it covered lot of lot and lot of things so, so uh, i used to so, there there are around 2000 more than 2000 questions and most of yes, them sir. have been prepared yes, by me actually it took me more than 3 4 months to prepare that uh, cube bank actually yes, it it is it is extensively prepared like i used to solve the question and whatever thing not getting clear or uh, i had doubts i uh, then used to refer to campbell so okay. how did the video help you out lectures sir uh, videos uh, to be specific the uh, female urology and uh, Uh, euro dynamics and all that was the best part and okay. uh, yes sir because uh, other things like oncology and like the euro basics that were uh, that i had read before also they, they were like more or less clear to me but uh, these topics like the female urology and the euro dynamics uh, these topics like i always used to leave those topics before <laughs> before this exam so uh, this was in my mind that i had i have to read, uh, read these topics because chhod ke kaam nahi chalega so see uh, i will tell you one thing so when it comes to this inass no the real game changes are those one or two questions from these difficult topics so yes, that's sir. the reason i took up the challenge of taking that it is very difficult yes, to uh, teach uh, aerodynamics or make it understand yes, sir. concepts okay because it's all very new to all our resident even when yes, i sir. joined my urology resident it's very difficult for me to understand and comprehend because unless you correlate them with the clinical experience or clinical pedigree that's very difficult to understand so yes, that sir. regard i'm i'm feel happy that you are able to understand the concepts right so okay. usko bhi i had to like i watched the videos two three times that was enough so uske baad uh, i did not have to like uh, read campbell or anything yeah see the idea was even if there is one question on this concept this concept that will make the, that will be the real game changer because any question simple question from renal basic or euro on everybody is going to answer yes, these sir. are the areas because when i was preparing i was not aware of it i found out those areas are very difficult so i just wanted to stress upon those areas where most of the students we ne- we neglect just because it is not like we don't want to reach we could not understand the concepts that's a, that's a thing like so the concepts were taught well in videos right so any other yes, topics sir. the euro on to yes, uh, the uh, protocols uh, is the protocols were uh, good and uh, other was uh, urethral stricture topic okay. reconstruction and stricture all those flaps and all usko yeah. dekhne ke baad sir i was like pehle kyun nahi padha maine kyun there was a question in the last i and i also uh, or and uh, flap yes sir so jab uh, i when i watched your videos so usme to pura de rakha <laughs> so i was like pehle pad leta to last time hi ho jata <laughs> okay so, Yeah, yeah. And, see, yes, the only thing why people find it difficult is like uh, they don't try to accept that okay, it is very difficult, very new for us. We have to go through it from the basics. So yes, you don't should, should not expect anything that I I already know a part of it because it's everything is new. You have to start from basics. That's that's a thing. Like so, the exams also will be like it will be like an uh, bio voice exam, like when you are appearing for MCH final exam. So that is the standard of the questions which the INA has. fits in so yes, most sir. of the clinical scenarios some clinical based question some experience based question they ask in such a way so that yes, is one sir. okay okay right you did the videos read the cube banks and how did they support us 
I think uh, I think some of you were in touch with me through WhatsApp as well, right? Even before the exams, I'm not sure. There used to be some random questions. I may not be aware of it, but I think if I found time, I I would always prompted uh, promptly responded to that as well. Okay, okay, Shiva. Sure. Next, what else? So, what is a piece of advice for your uh, uh, junior colleagues and uh, your uh, your junior who is preparing for urology? So how to think about uh, it and go about from here? So, first of all, uh, you have to believe that you can crack this exam. <laughs> Uh, when the first time I gave this exam, I thought that aims me kiska hota hai, ya fir uh, INI, PGI, jip mein kis mein kiska selection hota hai. So the first time I gave this exam, uh, I was like, ki ho to sakta hai. Then I started preparing uh, in that direction. So first, you have, uh, first you will have to think that you can crack it. So yeah. this is the first. So uske baad 50% to ho jata hai ka. Conference is the key. And yes. how about the how about the contents in a uh, in our app? Did you feel like that is sufficient for you to crack the exam or you wanted to read something beyond it? And I think there are more than 70 yeah. hours of video lectures. Yes, sir. Lectures, sir. lectures are more than enough, I think, because uh, lectures, ko, if uh, you keep on revising the lectures, so that I think the revision uh, revision is more important than like hmm. you trying hmm. to try to collect uh, matter from different sources. So very, check true. Us, yes, sir. very true. See, that's, that's the thing like, so people, but there is a tendency among students to collect various materials. Remember, all the materials are from base Campbell. Yes, so sir. Only the presentation will be different. The contents will be the same. It all depends on how much you can retain it. So revision yes, is the key. And when it yes, goes to videos, the first thing I would suggest them is not to go through the points, take all the in-depth points, just read it, watch it like a movie. You will understand some core concepts. Yes, when you redo it again, then you will find all subtle nuances and small technical points which you will pick up. If you find time, you can do it thrice, then that that's where you find all the small in-between points and everything. In. Yes, so that's because... you, you should not think about assimilating the whole stuff of uh, video lectures in one book, which is very difficult. That is what I would say. Yes, because when you uh, go through the same material multiple times, you, you will find the small, small points. Yes. So, True, true, true. true. Yes, sir. Okay, thank you, Shiva. Yes, thank sir. you for thank sharing you. your thoughts and spending time with us.